Hi everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to my plant channel. And if you're new here, hi, I would like my name is Myra Wilson and welcome to my channel. Anyway, today we are going to talk about my Begonia Lucerna, one of my very old house plants. So if you want to find out how I take care of it, please keep on watching. So without further ado, please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell to help my channel grow, get your tea ready, and let's get into this video. Here she is with my Begonia Lucerna. She is getting taller and taller. I'm very proud of this one as it's growing non-stop. This is maybe a 15-year-old plant. I got it from one of my friends. It was just one when I got this. Now it has grown a lot. I really, really love this one. My Begonia Lucerna was sitting in my living room before. Um, just right there and it was growing so so slow then one day it's showing more growth it's starting to thrive when my living room begin to become uh, an indoor jungle it's growing non-stop but because I was trying to sort out my living room I moved my begonia lucerna to my plant room and since then it's more than happy this plant is receiving bright light to medium light from my west facing window in winter it is receiving medium light to low light for the first time my lucerna flowered on me last summer it's huge like a bouquet and it lasts forever the flowers have a white peachy and pinky coloration super pretty i was very happy this is the first time this plant has flowered since i got it i really really love it there was no smell it was just very pretty and quite big when it comes to watering, I really really barely water this plant. I can forget about it and it's still alive and kicking. And as you can see, it's in a big plastic container and if you look closer, the soil is super dry. I am very careful when it comes to watering my lucerna just to prevent root rot. Even though the plant is tall, it has a small root system and I think it was 10 years or so before I repotted my lucerna. Also, if the soil is mega dry and the leaves are quite thin to touch and browning, that means I really need to water the plant. Uh, the leaves are normally quite thick and velvety to touch if it's not thirsty. <laughs> When it comes to humidity, I think Begonia Lucerna love humidity. However, it can tolerate low humidity but it's super slow growing. Like I said, my Lucerna wasn't doing much until I got many plants in my living room. The moisture levels in the air must have risen so maybe that's why it's pushing more growth because the humidity level is getting better. But also the plant is now receiving a lot more light now so I mean look at her i pruned this couple of times and it makes it even more active i had to tie this for support or else it will fall off and break anyway i really really love the foliage and the pattern of the leaves there's a hint of shimmer under polka dots and the leaves also look like an angel swings and that's what they call it also the stems are like bamboo that's why they call it cane begonia as far as i know i cover the soil with the stones as it's bare naked i was flying to to plant something underneath but the soil is quite hard to touch so i don't want to disturb it and i think that's it this is my begonia lucerna's journal very easy to take care of it haven't had any problem with insects either which is really good so that's all for now until my next plant journal thank you for watching guys please don't forget to subscribe happy planting bye